some patients have a condition called brachymetatarsia, and what that is is a short toe deformity. But it's not the toe that's short, it's the metatarsal behind the toe that's short. So what happens is the metatarsal is short, the toe is short, and the toe doesn't fit into its normal parabola within the foot. Um, the toe is typically apropulsive. The, tip, the toe is unable to touch the ground. There's usually a cleft on the bottom of the foot. There's usually an overloading of the adjacent metatarsal bones that now that that short bone is not taking up its fair share of the weight, it's now being, the weight is now being distributed to the other, other bones. So you get uh, um, bursitis and uncomfortable situation with the other bones of the foot. Uh, what we're doing now is called a, callus, a procedure called a callus distraction. And what that is, is that we can dial in the length, the amount of length we want within that metatarsal bone to achieve a normal anatomical looking foot. And as we lengthen that metatarsal bone, which is the bone right behind the toe, it then pushes the toe into its normal position. And when the procedure is complete, the toe is now in a normal position, the bone is now in a normal length, and the patient has normal weight-bearing surface so there's no overload on the bottom of the foot so they don't develop calluses, and they're not prone to develop calluses or bursitis on the other, other joints. Um, it's a very nice procedure as opposed to a one-stage procedure where you put a bone graft in, in the bone and lengthen it that way. The problem with that is that you are stuck with whatever length that bone graft is. So what I find is that some patients need more length, some pe patients need less length. Patients that need more length, you ha we find that with the callus distraction procedure, which is also an outpatient procedure, um, we find that we can dial in the length. The patient now is very, at, at, at the point where the procedure is almost complete, the patient now says, okay, I think I like the way that toe sits in that position. So we stop lengthening at that point. Uh, and we, we follow the patients radiographically uh, every couple of weeks once the bone is healing.